Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bosses Money. I am so excited today because I'm with a super host. She's about to tell us who she is and what she does. If you like anything in this video, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe to Bosses Money. So, Heather, can you say hello to my viewers and tell them who you really are? Yeah, thanks, Charity. Um, we're in my neighborhood, um, Lawrenceville, part of Pittsburgh, and I'm in one of my Airbnbs. I'll step to the side a little bit. So I do have a combination of fake plants and real plants throughout the space. Uh, this is a one bedroom. <laughs> Welcome to Inlock here in Lawrenceville, uh, an Airbnb I've run, been running for a year. Uh, this is an arbitrage, so I do rent it from an owner and have actually made some pretty significant um, updates within reason, right? Because I do not own this and I didn't want to overly invest, but I do know what Airbnb guests look for and what can give me a competitive edge. So we can start here. Um, this was actually a, a glass piece that I, I got from Ikea for my own home and it didn't work out. It's meant to go in a bathroom. I thought, wouldn't this make an, a pretty amazing bar? So you can see a variety of glasses. I actually do not think they're used very often because we don't see them um, in the dish rack or in the dishwasher. And this does make a very stunning photo yes. on the listing. Behind here, we added just this wallpaper. It's peel and stick wallpaper from Lowe's. Just as like a nice little feature. And you can see there's a little table there and an ice bucket. When we first started, this was a real, um, a real tree, but over time it just didn't get the care it needed. So I did switch this one out to a, a fake tree. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> out this window, we actually do have a view of the city, which is it's a, it's just a little slice, but you know it's it's nice to it's nice to be able to um, feature it. So because we have that nice little view of the city, uh, we did install this coffee workstation bar space um, with two chairs. So I I personally have done a lot of work and taken some Zoom calls here. That perfect lighting. But my last guest, for instance, I saw these chairs out and some crumbs here, so I know they were enjoying a nice little breakfast here. Um, <clears throat> this is the rest of the space. We were working with this green shag carpeting. I actually selected furniture to match this carpet. Um, a place that I like to get furniture uh, is called Court, and they actually build furniture to rent. And then once things have been rented so many times, they'll sell it to the public. I go with a quality, I mean, I love Ikea's designs, but I end up going with a quality where I know it's gonna withstand time. Um, so this is from Court, that's from Court, pillows from a variety of places. I did pick these up at Goodwill. These I kind of made with a pal. This is a new piece. Though came from another one of my Airbnbs because I swapped something out. Um, we do have artwork. This is all a local artist, so this is an orig original photography. And I've also found if you go with, these are not the same, but the style is consistent. So it, it creates a little bit of an elevated feel when you have a consistency like that. Mm -hmm. Should I take you into the kitchen? Yes. So this is a pretty big space for Lawrenceville. We're in a lot of narrow row houses here, but this is uniquely uh, a large space. So again, we were working with um, existing flooring. There, We got like a interesting little dip here on this 1800s house. So I have learned to throw a rug over a dipped area to kind of like give some sort of visual illusion. I got these chairs at red, white, and blue. Got this from Court. When we um, came in, I mean, this is dated, but it's very nice. What I did do 
is I changed all of these brass pieces out for updated handles. So that's a little something that you can do that really changes the feel without investing a ton. Um, also, for some reason, this didn't open well and was kind of smelly. <laughs> so I thought, why don't I just remove the door to it? And then it just gives it a little bit of a offset, maybe modern feel. Um, here, this Airbnbs are kind of well known for their coffee stations. You gotta, you gotta have a good coffee station um, to to appease your guests. So here we have a Keurig, lots of stuff. I have my coffee, um, teas, sugars, a variety of things. I got a French press. I got a drip. I got a kettle. And then what's also very cool is to offer. You know, this is a map of the neighborhood. Always nice to have a Pittsburgh piece. Somebody got this for me also at a thrift store. And then this was a photo I had bought at an auction. And then you'll see, um, I love I love textures and fabrics. I think that's, that's the way to go. So this is a little odd perhaps to have in a kitchen, but it seemed to kind of fill this space and this was a, an intense plaster wall. I was working with the carpet and the wall color. I was not gonna change wall color. This was also a piece from court. And then these were carpets that I found that I liked. And I thought to add these to kind of change the space. This was a very used green carpet in here. So I found this great, this, this one that seems to suffice pretty well. Um, oh, this charity, this is like my fave. Is it stunning, huh? That's beautiful. I got it at Ross. And it, what it really also does is there's only one window in this room, right behind you. So what it does is it kind of helps balance light. Um, and then the closets, I think we ended up taking the doors off, which is fine and gives it a little bit more of a modern feel. We have a few things stacked. And then we really needed something stand out behind. Um, let me maybe turn this one off. So I also got this at Ross. I loved it. I love that it's... Um, could be man, woman. I mean, it's, it's just kind of a, just understated, but also, um, elevated. And then this we just found on Amazon, but I was dealing with a lot of different colors in here and I wanted this, a uh, mood. Uh, this is a king size bed. People love king size bed. <laughs> Last place I'm going to take you charity. One of the most special parts about this place. And I think this was another bit of our standout. It's quite unique in this neighborhood to be so well landscaped. Nice. <laughs> um, and uh, a few of these, pe this, these, these plastic chairs I bought at Court. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I did. I bought those at Court. I think they were twenty-five dollars each. I will tell you though, white plastic gets dirty and. I don't know, we gotta maintain it a bit. Uh, we bought that table with this, the set that's behind you um, and then added the table top to it. Got some planters and then my mom went to a thrift store and got some fake plants so that we just kind of have this, this gorgeous kind of, you know, we're in the winter right now, but we have this gorgeous evergreen. Um, we got those trellises at Lowe's and then we added some ivy and put some fake ficus behind them. And then um, this little set came from Ross and people seem to really like, like those a lot. So convenient to a lot sweet. of amenities. If you are visiting Pittsburgh, I'm telling you Lawrenceville is one of the places to visit. It's so cool. It's amazing. Lawrenceville has a lot of good places to go to, good eating places. I just want Heather to tell us about uh, Lawrenceville a little bit. Okay, thanks. I've been here for 16 years and I've seen a bit of a transformation. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of open, empty storefronts. Um, and what's special about the space is it connects to the Strip District, to downtown, but then really mm. far. So there was an opportunity for 20 or 30 blocks of new businesses to come in, and they sure have. Uh, it's also very history rich. A lot of our homes were built in. Um, mid and late 1800s mm. um, we have a beautiful park we're very close to the river so mm -hmm. that's something that I think some of my guests really like here as well yeah. 
you can go that way mm -hmm. to like a ton of um, foodie spots, mm. but you can also um, take the bridge right, and uh, take a, a stroll or a bike ride to downtown, wow. uh, which is very convenient. Yeah. And um, I've opened this place probably, I would say about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're at about 4.98 stars, which wow. is quite good. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. I just had five properties. One is going to be sold, so I'll be down to four. Um, but I've been a super host for eight years. She's a super host. Like a super duper Make host. Make sure you check her out. I'll leave all our details in the link below. Mm -hmm.